What's up you guys? It's Ashlinski and I'm literally I'm just gonna keep going. Like these I'm gonna be recording this for like all day and I'm very excited. Um so last episode we kinda got a little bit of backstory. We found out that the mom's not there, don't know where, um, and we're moving. And this is our daughter Amanda, and we're a weird dad with red hair and a dark mustache and Egg tit shirts. <laughs> We're going to the coffee shop because I said I need some bean juice, which now I'm thinking about it sounds weird. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Yes. Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else to drink coffee on a couch where I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Logic, man. He's got it. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it, because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Hmm? Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight and now that you're the jerk who left their mug? Uh, Dad! Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes. Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. Why is this dad me? The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around the well-worn couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Okay, just as a precursor, I said it in the last episode, all the dads sort of resemble Overwatch characters in a sense, so I will probably never call these characters by their proper name. This is Lucio Dad. We're gonna call him Lucio Dad. He looks a little like Lucio. Hey. Oh, his name is Matt, with one T. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? I'm gonna try and give each of these dads voices. I don't- I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll try it! We'll try it for a little bit. What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kinda dumb. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? Mm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're all in it now, and I can't stop. Oh. So what'll it be? Hmm. <laughs> I scan the chalkboard menu and am immediately overwhelmed. As I am at any coffee shop. I don't even drink coffee and I'm overwhelmed. I'll have, uh... Uh, Godspeed you, black coffee. Iced Tegan and Sarah, or a chai ant word. I understand all of these references. Iced Tegan and Sarah. Oh, he likes that. Oh, yes. Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah, this really awesome Canadian indie band, formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. Oh. I'm doing that thing again. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? I like that! Uh, medium? Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets out to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? <laughs> Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyways. Hey! Hey! Ska was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay. It's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. 
Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? That we don't like it and we won't do it! <laughs> I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Why is this me? See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table, and I have a sip. The ice, Teagle, and Vera is delicious. Did they just change the name of the drink? Or did I just read it wrong? Eh, whatever. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Ash. Uh -oh. oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread re recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, uh, you know, really appreciate the flavor and the sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that it would uh, commiserate with the... Uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Yeah. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. So we got banana bread Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, or right said banana bread. I'm gonna go with... Right said banana bread. He likes it! Like, right said Fred? But now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. I get it! Wait, what? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decision. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. As Reaper Dad! hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? It's Reaper Dad. We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Unpacking. Fresh air. I need a nap. I need a nap! <laughs> Drinking coffee is stressful. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie! Now all board the train to Sleepy Time Junction. Yes! Try to drive in a way where you never have to use your brakes. Dude, me! Why is this whole game me? Uh-oh. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Ash, bro! Bro! bro. Oh, I gotta give him a bro voice, man. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Mm -hmm. Bro! Bro. Mm. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Is he checking out his friend? Mm -hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. With that baby attached to you and that watch and that iPhone attached to you. You're clearly a dad ready to be on the run. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. What does looking ripped have to do with cleaning your act? You know what? I don't want to know. I'm just going to keep going. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. <laughs> hello, and hello, cute baby. 
Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Oh, it's a little baby. Are you babysitting? <laughs> nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we were rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California. Just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Ashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. That's my name! She actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Nice. It's old news. We're taking turns taking care of River and the twins. It's old. Copacetic. What the hell? That's a big word for a bro. Twins? You have three kids? Oh. Ain't life something, bro, right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Keg Stan Craig? Oh. I just realized that's that's Nate. Nate wants to battle. That's his voice. Ah. I was wondering. I was like, what is that sound in my ear? I can hear it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Keg stands look dangerous, by the way. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Eh? Right. He was very good at it. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. Yep, me! This is still me! On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but then give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Literally me. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Uh, I don't know... Dude, come on, it'd be fun! We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up! We could do a bro brush, just like the old days! Alright, sure, sounds great. Great, let's get that going soon, I better get moving. Good to see you guys! Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids, I'm reeling! Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including, and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. That's disgusting! Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Hmm. It's like a totally different person. Anyway, better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. I mean, you might feel old, but you look young. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Hmm. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Hmm. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Yeah. Of course, are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog? <laughs> Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. It's, it's true. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls out one and throws the rest back onto the floor. Yes. Uh, rude. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. 
Y'all don't keep a letter opener or a knife or a butter knife. <laughs> we have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. Oh, I hope she gets in. What does it say? I'm scared for her. I know she's not real, but I'm scared for her. I know how stressful this is. Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Oh, Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. She better be just punking me out. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admission officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. Oh, she really didn't get in. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you put into your portfolio. Some other school's gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Really. Her face is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. I have plans? How did I make plans? Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Um, bullshitting. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. <laughs> I gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that my preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Uh. He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to stay home and finish my packing, go to bed, go out and watch the game? Yeah, I'll go to like Buffalo Wild Wings and throw back some beers with my bros and don't watch the game. No. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one though. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. <sighs> the game on TV at somewhere other than here. At a place where they hopefully have alcohol. And maybe people and seats and maybe food. And uh, the, the sports game, you know, with the, with the sport. And the, and the helmets, and the uniform, and, and the ball, and the and, and rackets. I don't know how sports work. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? <sighs> Yes, Dad. Just making sure. Yeah. I give her a pat on the head. Okay. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Uh. Alright then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Uh. Hey, don't forget to have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Alright, oh, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. They literally have the same name. Just as I'm heading towards my room, the doorbell rings. Who could that be? Who could possibly need anything from me right now? Do they know what time it is? It is at night and I should be asleep. And we're gonna find out next episode who the hell is ringing the doorbell. So. That's where we're gonna end this episode. I don't know what I'm doing with the voices. I'm just- I'm just trying to have fun with this game. This game is so fun. I love- Like, just the little details in the background alone. Like, there's like a movie poster. There's like a- There's a video game controller. There looks like a frisbee. And like, there's a cute little stuffed thing that kind of looks like a creature from a game I've played. Um... You know, you got a little u horse, obviously, shout out to Prior Childhood. You know, there's headphones, there's a cute little, like, shrubbery garden, there's some shoes. It's, it's so detailed and it's so nice, and I like it a lot. I'm excited to see the other, like, locations and what they'll look like, so. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. 
as I said before, if you want to play this game, you want to support the developers, you want to support the Game Grumps and their lovely, lovely work they've done. Um, link will be in the description. You go check it out. Play it for yourself. Um, and if you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying me playing it and all that jazz, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new content every single day too and you don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next one.